I'm John McDonough. I've uh, been a type 1 diabetic for 77 years. I'm 83 years old. At the time, I was, uh, uh, my parents didn't know too much about it. <laughs> I learned to give myself the shot when I was eight years old. It was crazy. I came downstairs one day and I would stretch out on the couch and drop my drawers and she'd come along and give me the shot in the rear. And I said, that really hurt. And she said, if you think you could do it better, do it yourself. So I did from that time on. <laughs> they made sure that I wasn't babied or treated like something was wrong with me. Living to 83 with type 1 diabetes, having all of the things, doing all the things that a diabetic has to do over the years, it's just I never felt that I had a real burden. I felt that I could beat this thing. You know, I was going to run the diabetes, it wasn't going to run me. But now I've got this medal, which is my 75 year medal from the Joslin Foundation. And they told me when they sent, a, sent it to me, that there's 1,250,000 type 1 diabetics in this country, and that they have given away 115 of these medals. That's a pretty exclusive club. I'm not pleased that it is. I'd like it to be huge. They told my parents at that time that I'd live to 15, maybe 20. I later became aware of that and became fairly, uh, you know, cavalier, not just didn't care what happened to me or what I did. Then I met Marilyn and then I cared about everything. <laughs> and I was going to do what I wanted to do, diabetes notwithstanding. I was going to build a company. We did that. We had children. They've grown. We're great grandparents. And I was able. The diabetes never stopped me. Over the course of the years, I've had many difficult days, times when I felt lousy. You had to just had to keep going. And I went to bed, my own bed, nice, clean, good, you know, good stomach sheet. You wake up on this table with junk and, you know, tubes in your arms and... Gary, I don't know how he did that, but we did it. Yeah. We had Allison, our oldest daughter. She is also a type 1 diabetic. I, uh, uh, I wish we could have the cure for her. What would you do if there was a cure? I might take a drink. <laughs> If there were a cure, we still would need JDRF to do the things they do. I uh, really have covered the whole range of technology development over the years, so much of which has been driven by, by JDRF. And without them, I'm not sure I'd be here. Today I wear an insulin pump, if you can believe it, with a continuous glucose meter built in. And it, it really, it really works. It tells me where I'm at at all times, during the night, and so on. Shuts off if I start to go low. And that, so many other things have been developed over the years, with a lot of help, a lot of influence, and money from JDRF. Mm -hmm.